Welcome back. This video will be covering the select matching and isolate entities commands in DraftSight. They're perfect for projects that require precise measurements and intricate details, like the interior layout of a building. The select matching feature is activated by typing it into the command window and specifying settings to access a list of matching options. DraftSight allows you to match entities based off of multiple different qualities, like entity style, layer, line color, line style, and many more. You can even select more than one option to narrow down the entities as much as you'd like. Then press OK, click on the entity in revision, and all the items that fit your chosen requirements will be highlighted. Now that you've selected all the entities you'd like to make alterations to, type isolate entities into the command window. In doing so, DraftSight will make all the unselected sections of your drafts invisible, allowing you to zoom in and spread out while editing the entities you match selected. I find this feature especially helpful when I want to make edits to a tight space because I don't have to worry about messing up nearby entities when they're hidden from isolation. As always, you can easily revert your isolation by typing unisolate entities into the command window, and the hidden entities will reappear as normal. I hope this post encourages you to select match entities and isolate them while drawing. If you're looking to learn more, visit the blog page or visit draftsite.com.